Commander. <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting me. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... Don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day.
be back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. I'm waiting for someone else. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course.
Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Hello, Commander. I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now. CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Hello, Commander. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. 
The Biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, courage. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? 
What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? You should have thought of that sooner. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scan suggests the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. If it's that important, then take it back to the people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back and continue work on it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Have a nice day, Jalid. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a Keeper, scan it. Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck, and so long.
Detective Chalik. Come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chelik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But, that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here.
Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way.
The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome. Hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Find someone else to do your dirty work. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates, nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. That's right. It was a long time ago. I barely Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength.
hello again. The consort is very pleased with everything that you have done for her. Any chance I can move up on her client list? I did help her out. Yeah, she is grateful for your assistance. However, you have already been rewarded for helping her. The client list is a separate matter, and her schedule is completely booked for the next several months. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The convoy. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human specter, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a specter involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. 
He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything.
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. 